Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I made this mitten a couple years ago. Today is the update of this pattern. The size in the video is a small to medium size. You can find the other sizes on the written pattern. The link is in the description box. For this project, you'll need acrylic yarn. This is a number 4 medium yarn, a 5mm hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, and stitch markers. This is my crochet ring. I use this every single time when I crochet, and I can crochet for hours without putting down my hook. It is to help ease the pain on the finger so that the yarn is not pulling my finger. I highly recommend it, and you can find the link in the description box. To begin the pattern, make a magic circle. In the magic circle, place 6 single crochet. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2 loops. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Pull the tail to close the circle. To begin round 2, slip stitch into the first stitch. And I always like to carry the tail with me. And one chain to begin. In the same stitch, place two single crochet. One, two. On the next stitch, place two single crochet. Place two single crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 12 stitches, and I meet you on round 3. To begin round 3, slip stitch into the first stitch, two chains, one, two, and this does not count as a stitch. In the same stitch, place a double crochet. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. On the next stitch, place two double crochet. That's one. Two. Double crochet, two double crochet, and repeat this all the way around. By the end of the round, there will be 18 stitches, and I meet you on round 4. To begin round 4, slip stitch into the first stitch, one chain. In the same stitch, place a single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch. On the third stitch, place two single crochet. The repeat is single crochet into two stitches. Two single crochet into the third stitch and repeat this all the way around. By the end of the round, there will be 24 stitches. To begin round 5, slip stitch into the first stitch. Two chains, one, two. On this round, place a double crochet into one, two, three stitches.
two double crochet on the stitch. One, two. The repeat is double crochet into one, two, three stitches. Place two double crochet into the next stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 30 stitches. To begin round 6, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. On this round, place a single crochet into every stitch. So total 30 stitches. And I meet you on round 7. To begin round 7, slip stitch into the first stitch. Two chains. One, two. On this round, place a double crochet into every stitch. So the pattern is the alternative of a double crochet and a single crochet round. From here, repeat round 6 and round 7 until round 15, with a total of 30 stitches for every round. And I meet you on round 16. This is how the mitten looks like at the end of round 15. Round 15 is a double crochet round, so round 16 is going to be a single crochet round. On this round, single crochet into 15 stitches. And 15. From here, 10 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4 stitches. On the next stitch, single crochet. Then single crochet into the last 10 stitches. On this round, we have a total of 36 stitches, and I meet you on round 17. To begin round 17, slip stitch into the first stitch, 2 chains, double crochet into 15 stitches, and this brings us to the chain. At the chain here, we have 10 chains. So place 10 double crochet along the chain. Then double crochet into the last 11 stitches. Total 36 stitches. And I meet you on round 18. To begin round 18, slip stitch into the first stitch, one chain. On this round, place a single crochet into every stitch. And I meet you on round 19. To begin round 19, slip stitch into the first stitch, two chains. On this round, double crochet into one, two, three, four stitches. Then double crochet two together. That's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through the last three loops. That's a double crochet, two together. 
and repeat this, double crochet into 4 stitches. Then double crochet, 2 together, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first 2 loops, and yarn over, pull through the last 3 loops. And repeat this all the way around. By the end of the round, there will be 30 stitches. To begin round 20, slip stitch, 1 chain. On this round, place a single crochet into every stitch. From now on, we are working with 30 stitches. And we are alternating the double crochet and the single crochet round until it reaches the width, somewhere here. So I stopped at round 22, and it fits quite well on me. If you need to, you can make another round of double crochet and single crochet. Join the round by slip stitch into the first stitch, one chain, and cut yarn. The next part is the thumb, and you can attach the yarn at this corner or at this corner. Here, we're working with 14 stitches, 10 stitches, and 4 stitches. And I'm going to attach a piece of yarn into the 1, 2, 3, 4 on this stitch. Pull through the yarn, tie a knot. Insert the hook, and this round is going to be a single crochet round. One chain. Place a single crochet into the same stitch, and be aware of the corner here. This is not part of the 14 stitches. The next stitch is this one over here. By the end of the round, we have 14 stitches. Round 2 is a double crochet round, so slip stitch into the first stitch, 2 chains, and place a double crochet into every stitch. Round 3 is a single crochet round. Slip stitch, one chain, and single crochet into every stitch. To begin round four, slip stitch into the first stitch, two chains. On this round, double crochet into one, two, three, four, five stitches. Then double crochet two together. And repeat this one more time. Double crochet into 5 stitches.
Then double crochet the last two stitches together. And now we have a total of 12 stitches. Round 5 is a single crochet round, slip stitch, one chain, and single crochet into every stitch. Total 12 stitches. To begin round 6, slip stitch, 2 chains, double crochet into 1, 2, 3, 4 stitches, Double crochet two together. And repeat this one more time. Double crochet into four stitches. and double crochet the last two stitches together. We now have a total of 10 stitches. To begin round 7, slip stitch, one chain, Single crochet into one, two, three stitches. And single crochet the next two stitches together. Insert, down over, pull up a loop. Insert into the next stitch. Down over, pull up a loop. 3 loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through 3 loops. And repeat, single crochet into 3 stitches. And single crochet the last 2 stitches together. After the last stitch, Cut yarn and join the round with a yarn needle. Then close the opening. To make the cuff, make a slip knot. Insert the hook and make a chain of 13 or it can be in any number. I now have 13 chains. Start on the second chain from hook 1, 2, this one. Place a slip stitch. And slip stitch into the next chain. Then slip stitch into every chain. After the last chain, one chain and turn. On the first stitch, this one, slip stitch into two loops.
then slip stitch into the back loop on the next stitch. The back loop is the far away loop from us. And again, slip stitch into the back loop all the way across. On the last stitch, slip stitch into two loops, just like the first stitch. One chain and turn and repeat. The first stitch, slip stitch into two loops. Slip stitch into the back loop all the way across. Repeat this until it is long enough to wrap around the waist. And that strip measures somewhere around 7 inches. Leave a long tail and cut yarn. With the yarn needle, stitch the ends together. When attaching the two pieces together, use stitch markers to hold it in position. Once this mitten is finished, repeat and do the same for the other hand. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!